I'm Jerry, and in this video, you'll learn the basics of piano and Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Let's get started. Before we begin, if you have a parent or adult nearby, it'd be extremely helpful to call them over and have them do this video with you. If you have a piano, that's great, and we can move on. If not, you can use the handy online piano that I've linked in the description. First, we're going to figure out which fingers are which. To start, grab a piece of paper and a pen. Lay both your hands on the paper with your palms facing down. Ask an adult to trace your hands and label the thumbs, one, the index fingers, two, the pinkies, five, and so on. Then, label your left hand, LH, and your right hand, RH. If you have trouble remembering which hand is your left hand, a handy trick is to make this shape. If your hand makes an L, that's your left hand. This sheet is a handy reference if you ever forget which fingers are which, which happens more than you might think. Now, let's use our ears and eyes to find some patterns on the piano. First, we're going to use our eyes. What colors do you see on the piano? The piano only has two colors, black and white. Take a look at the black notes. Notice how they're placed in groups of two and groups of three. Do you see a pattern in the black notes? They're going down in a pattern of two, three, two, three. Next, let's use our ears. As I go up the piano from the middle, what happens to the sound? Does the sound get higher or lower? You can pause the video and find out yourself. The sound gets higher as we move to the right side of the piano. Let's come back to the middle of the piano, but this time we're going to make our way slowly to the left of the piano. What do you notice about the sound now? Does the sound get higher or lower? The sound gets lower as we move to the left of the piano. Today, we're going to learn the most important note on the piano, middle C. Find the group of two black notes in the middle of the piano. The white note directly to the left of the group of two black notes is middle C. Take a look at your piano and find a way for you to always remember this note. If you're on an upright or grand piano, there should be a name in the middle of the lid. Middle C should be lined up with one of the letters in the name. If you have a keyboard, I recommend putting a sticker on middle C for the time being. Try standing up, taking a walk, hugging mom, and then come back to see if you still remember where it is. Now, where are you going to place your fingers? Today, we'll be using something called middle C position. Take both of your thumbs, finger ones, and place them on middle C. This will feel awkward, but it makes more sense to your brain. Take the rest of your fingers and place them on the next couple of keys, with one finger on each. It should look something like this. To get started, we're going to do something I call the spider exercise. Play both your ones, then twos, then threes, then fours, then fives, and back again. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. So you're only playing one and five once. When you're doing this, make sure that you're not playing the keys at the same time, like this. But you're also not playing them two separately, like this. The idea is to play one key as you're lifting the other. Imagine that the two keys are two ends of a seesaw. This will take some practice, but it's important. Now, think of what makes a tiger so powerful. It's teeth and claws, right? And what shape are they? Curved, right? So if you want your fingers to be strong, you have to curve them like tiger claws. None of this. 
Now, let's check up on posture. Posture is extremely important as it affects how well we are able to play the piano. First, sit tall with your shoulders relaxed. Make sure your feet are flat on the ground. If your feet can't touch the ground, grab a stool or a box to put under your feet. Straighten your hands in front of you and hold up two fists. If your knuckles extend past the end of the keys, you're sitting too close. Your arms should be level to the keyboard, making an L shape. In the future, when you're practicing, you can start with the spider exercise as a warm-up. Now, go to the link in the description below and open up the Twinkle Twinkle Little Star music sheet. Using middle C position, you'll be able to play the entire song. The music sheet also includes detailed tips that will help you learn the song. For homework, print out the review sheet, which is a separate sheet that is also linked in the description. Practice Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and warm up with the spider exercise. For extra practice, you can ask a parent to make up some different finger patterns for you that are different from the spider exercise. Parents, you can switch up the fingers. So instead of doing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 3, 2, 1 in the spider exercise, you could ask them to do 2, 3, 5, 4 on the right hand or 1, 1, 2, 3 on the left hand, whatever works. This video was brought to you by From Art to Heart, which is a youth-run nonprofit organization based in Alberta, Canada. We decided to make this video in response to the current pandemic situation, where everyone is at home. If you'd like to get free virtual lessons and coaching with some of our teachers, you can visit our website at fromarttoheart.ca slash virtual lessons. For more information, or send us an email at fromarttoheartsociety at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. It would mean a lot to us. Stay tuned for our next video where we'll be covering rhythm and beat.